is with uh, John Cole of Skytran. This is a very exciting Israeli uh, high-tech startup. It was originally an, uh, a U.S. Uh, startup, which is now in Israel. Uh, uh, John is going to tell us about something very interesting that's happening in India. Mukesh Ambani is set to revolutionize urban mobility. He is uh, also a stakeholder in Skytran and the high-end transportation pods that are being developed may first be launched in India. John is going to tell us more about that. Hi John, lovely Hi. having you. Uh, uh, the magnetic um, transportation pods that Skytran is developing of course are, are revolutionary to say the least mm -hmm. but I want to know how are uh, these pods uh, going to be launched? You mentioned that you're uh, looking at launching them first in India. What makes India so unique? We weren't originally looking at India. India is a very complex place. Uh, the bureaucracy is crushing. The uh, How do you start? And it's a very difficult place for foreign companies to operate. What changed it was uh, Mikesh Ambani. Uh, Mikesh Ambani is a truly visionary um, on, a businessman. And in fact, uh, at my very first uh, meeting with him, and uh, Manoj Modi, they, uh, they instantly got the whole concept of the physical packet switching system. That is an abstraction very few people get. And these guys are so smart, they got it right away. And they saw what this could do to India. So what, they, what, they, what we're working out right now with them, we're in the middle of working out a plan to roll this out throughout India. First, with a small scale demonstration system on one of their captive projects, probably in Mumbai. And then after that, expanding it throughout the country. You know, the transportation pod that you're developing, uh, it has been in the process of developing, and as I can understand that you're looking at launching them outside the cities first. Do you see India as the perfect launch pad for this, considering the scale of the country? The deployment strategy for India may be a little different than what I described in the video. In, in most places, we're looking at the inner city cores are very difficult places to, to work. There's, there's a, a lot of regulation and bureaucracy and it's very tight confounds. Permitting is very difficult. And in many cases there are adequate public transit systems. The problem is when you get to the periphery of town and going out. So our, our model for deploy initially in the developed world is different. India is different. Indian cities, in, in these cities, literally the inside of the city is completely non-functional. Nothing moves. So probably the first corridors will be actually inside the core of the city um, in, in India. Maybe a slightly different deployment strategy. We don't know yet. Maybe a Mumbai or a Delhi having a sky pod at the sky. Yeah, I because see. there's simply no place to build roads. You, they're even, you know in Mumbai they're even looking at putting a road offshore. Right. Going to, it's, like a, it's like a coronary bypass operation for a city. Right. Do you think that the launching of Skytrans Skypods is going to give a tough competition to the uh, the now popular Ubers and uh, Olas of India? I think it's actually going to be the best thing for the business ever. Skytran can take you almost to the last destination, but not all the way. A car can't. The way we see it is that we will partner with those companies and what they want to do is they want to get a lot more uh, riders and they want, they, they, want fewer, they want a lot more trips and a lot less wasted time. We see that they will move to automated vehicles that will be seamlessly integrated with Skytrans. So when you, when you pick up your phone and you say I want to go to a certain location, an automated Uber or Lyft will pick you up, take you to a Skytrans station automatically and it will, your trip on Skytrans will be a continuous process and when you get off another automated vehicle will take you to your final destination it will all be seamlessly integrated are you looking for it in the future looking for looking for partnerships in the future with indian startups not only uh, um, we, it, it, we don't know yet it's possible everything we we do in india we need to coordinate with our partners reliance because right now you know they they are skytran india